and thank you for being here. Tonight, I'm happy to introduce Stephen Colbert, famous comedian and host of the Comedy Central se series, The Colbert Report, who will be speaking to the Vinton Shellsburg public speaking class on his opinions of White House politics. Colbert got his start in acting while attending Northwestern University, where he majored in theater. There, he worked closely with Del Close, who is an acting coach for Saturday Night Live, and had previously taught famous actors like Bill Murray. Colbert graduated in 1986 and got his first job answering phones with the Chicago acting troupe Second City, where he took acting classes in his spare time. At first, Colbert wanted to be a very serious and emotional actor who made lots of sad movies about dramatic things. But later, when he got his first acting job as an understudy for Steve Carell, he realized that he belonged in comedy. Throughout the 90s, Colbert had many other jobs. After he left Second City, he wrote a few installments of the F Exit 57, Comedy Central's first sketch series. After that, he wrote and performed on the Dana Carvey show. For a few weeks, he was a field correspondent for Good Morning America, but he quit almost immediately, claiming that he hated the job. He also co-created the cartoon Gary and Ace on Saturday Night Live and voiced the character of Ace. Finally, he joined The Daily Show as a field correspondent in 1997, where he first got his entrance into um, newscasting as a comedy. After months of regular acting on The Daily Show, he cut back his hours to work on writing the Comedy Central series Strangers with Candy. In 2005, Colbert got his own news show, The Colbert Report, where he reported news as a well-intentioned but poorly formed citizen in order to dissect the hypocrisy and idiocy of politics and media. In 2006, Colbert gave a speech at the White House Correspondents Association dinner, where he commented on the comparison of the shakeup and White House staff to rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic, meaning that it looks better, but it did nothing, and it was completely useless. He said that the White House administration was soaring, not sinking like the Titanic. So he compared it to rearranging the deck chairs on the Hindenburg, which was the German Zeppelin that crash landed in 1937. Responses to this speech ranged from total outrage to complete approval. And this speech is the best example of what Stephen Colbert stands for, bold truths delivered with comedy. His whole career, he struggled with cr critics um, mocking him for his um, strange way of delivering the news, but he's persevered nonetheless. I admire his ability not only to act, but just to share his opinions in a strong way and appeal to a wide audience. So thank, please join me in welcoming Stephen Colbert. 